What's going on guys? I hope you're all having a wonderful day and if you're not, this will cheer you up. Check this out. Linguini alla vodka with shrimp. Out of this world. Check it out. Coming right up. All right guys, we have some absolutely beautiful ingredients here. I've chopped up some leftover Campari tomatoes I had. Some beautiful tomatoes on the vine. I've got garlic, shallots, basil, some uh, artisan linguine, salt, pepper, olive oil, of course, and some vodka. Uh, we're gonna be making a vodka sauce, as you already know from the intro. Uh, let's go ahead and get chopping and get started. All right, so we're just gonna go ahead and uh, take these off the vine, as beautiful as they look on here. Um, and, uh, try not to eat them. Huh. Oh my God, they're so sweet. They're so delicious. All right, so we're just gonna go ahead and chop these in half, toss them in there. The only re we don't even really need to chop them. The only reason we're going to is just so that they reduce faster. Um, but if you don't want, if you want to skip this and you have the extra time to cook them longer, by all means. But I like to go ahead and cut them in half. All right, we have our garlic and our shallots next. Uh, the garlic. We want it kind of fine. We don't want it like big chunks in the sauce. Uh, but if you want to put it through a masher, by all means. I think it's just super fast to chop it up by hand. Um, so I'm not overly worried about doing more dishes. See, that was that's all we need right there. As far as the shallots, just gonna cut them in half. Just like so. Go ahead, right, right in with the onions. Excellent. Just like that. I don't know why this one's white, but it's still a shallot. So glad you can't see me right now. I'm literally crying from the onions. It's so emotional cooking with these beautiful ingredients. All right, all jokes aside. Oh yeah, oh yeah. I'm gonna go ahead and adjust the camera and uh, let's get cooking. Dang. All right, so here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna go ahead and start with some olive oil. All right, so onion and garlic in, or excuse me, shallot and garlic in. The aroma from the shallots and the garlic. Whew. Filling up the kitchen right now. All right, so I've got the heat on uh, medium right now. Um, I do not want these onions, uh, these, I keep calling them onions, shallots and garlic to burn. I am not looking for that. Of course, stuff is going out of my pan like normal. You know, that's normal around here if you've seen them in any of my videos. Can't keep stuff in the pan. All right, so the garlic is fragrant, so we're gonna go ahead and put our tomatoes in. We're gonna go ahead and season, salt, Fresh black pepper. Perfect. And we cook it for, oh yeah. So we're gonna turn the heat up so it's gonna start releasing some juices. So the onions and the garlic will no longer burn. And so we're gonna go ahead and crank the heat up. I've got it on medium high. Tomatoes were a little cold so it shocked the pan a little bit. But they'll come back to temperature here in just a moment. And we'll be searing these. Uh, it'll take about two, three minutes and I'll be right back. I'll show you as soon as they start bubbling down. All right, so our sauce has been going for about three to five minutes. And uh, look at that. I did crush them a little bit with my, uh, with my spatula just to help them out. Uh, this is why it's important to cut them in half, in my opinion. If not, they'll welt and come apart eventually. But just speed up a little bit. And... 
the smell is <laughs> just crazy. Um, yeah. All right, so we're gonna give this a couple more minutes. We want the sauce to a little bit thicken up before we add our, go into adding our vodka and lighting it up. We'll be right back. All right guys, so it has reduced. You can see it's really nice and thick sauce here. And this is my favorite part because I can actually look like I know what I'm doing and I look professional. So we're just gonna add, you want high heat. Be really careful guys, if you don't feel comfortable, please don't do it. We're gonna add some vodka. Give it a little shake, and we're gonna light it up. There it is. Can you see the flames? Oh yeah. All right, I think there's one. You don't have to light it up as well. All right. I like to light it a couple of times to make sure it's all gone. You don't want to leave vodka in there, I promise you. You just want the flavor of vodka. And I'm going to stop doing that before I cover myself <laughs> in sauce. Um, it has happened before. All right, so we're going to boil this for just a few more moments here. At this point, I'm going to start adding in my bay leaves. Or bay basil, 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 however, however you say it. All right, we're just gonna turn that in. Whew, guys, this is just, I guess Valentine's Day is coming up. This would be really nice to make this for Valentine's Day for someone. It's really, really simple. If you don't wanna mess with the tomatoes or you don't feel comfortable, buy a can of crushed tomatoes, dump it in, and just skip the fresh tomato part. Other than that, everything is the same. I wouldn't skip the vodka because then it's not a vodka sauce, it's a whole different dish. And not that that wouldn't be good, but that's not what we're going for here. All right, so we got a bay leaf included. Excellent. And now we're gonna add our, our cream, which is, I don't have cream, so this is half and half. Perfect. That's about a three quarter cup. I put in here roughly. We bring that back up to a boil, and as soon as it comes back to a boil, we're done. All right, so while that's boiling, I know I haven't mentioned this in the video, as much as this is beautiful, it's vegan, if you leave the milk out, use whatever stuff, whatever you guys use, I don't know. I'm sure it's good. Um, it's vegan or vegetarian. I like my meat, so I'm going to go ahead and use shrimp in here. Um, you can grill the shrimp, but because I have a little bit of extra sauce, what I'm going to go ahead and do is dump the shrimp right in here. I don't feel like doing the dishes. I don't feel like messing up another pan, doing another five minutes of this video for no reason. Everyone knows how to grow shrimp. Everyone knows how to make pasta. I'm not gonna waste your time. Leave this to boil for and reduce for another five minutes. The shrimp will be done, the sauce will thicken, everything will finish at the same time. And uh, I'll come back to you guys. My pasta's uh, cooking. Uh, it's got about six minutes left on it. I'll have 12 minutes al dente, so about halfway done. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and plate up, and I'll see you guys soon. Ciao. Check this out, guys. Look at that. I mean, <laughs> unbelievable. Makes me wanna wanna do this with my fingers and tell people I'm Italian. But <laughs> I mean, this is just delicious. And I have another portion for tomorrow for lunch, so all my coworkers can be jealous. Um, Right now, I'm gonna go ahead and take care of this while it's still hot and enjoy it. Uh, please make it for your loved ones um, or your family. I guarantee you they will enjoy it. Super simple as always and uh, delicious. All right, thank you guys so much for watching. Please like and subscribe. See you guys next time. Bye. Oh yeah.
Oh my god. Mm. It's so hot, but it's so good. <laughs> wow. That's all I have to say. Is wow. Make it. I'm gonna eat it.